guys. I thought since I am showing you guys different um, subscriptions, etc., I would go ahead and show you this one. I decided to just join the British um, um, Cactus or Succulent Society as well as the U.S. Succulent Society and just see um, what they have to offer right now. And yeah, just, just try it out. Um, because I have people asking me about it and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to check them out. It's funny, um, once these uh, this stuff has started coming in the mail, my camera is really not cooperating here. Okay, um, I recognize this, uh, the the formats, and it, and it jogged my memory to something that I haven't thought of in so, so long. When I was about um, seven? Yes, about seven, um, seven, eight ish, nine, right in there. Um, we, we, my family was really, really into yard sailing and we really enjoyed it. And so we would go, um, out. I mean, it was, it was all mapped out. We had lists, we had them in order of where the addresses were, you know, based on the town and sections and what tended to be the best section of town and, and the less good section for yard sales. And, and then they were highlighted and color coordinated. I mean, it was, it was, it was a whole, a whole deal. My mom was very, very organized. And, um, Anyways, we had a blast and I was always looking for anything about plants because I loved plants and I came upon um, someone, I think it was an estate sale and they were getting rid of all of their notebooks full of plant information from the um, Cactus and Succulent Society and another um, plant society, which I'm, I'm blanking on the name of it, but it's just more for house plants. It's not um, succulent specific. And they had notebooks and notebooks, and I think they wanted maybe 25 cents a piece for them. And I had long pigtails and bounced up to them and was like, hey, can I, because I didn't have, you know, $5 when I was seven at the time, you know, back in 1990. And, <laughs> and um, they, they were like, oh, honey, you can just have them for, I don't know, like a dollar or two for this whole stack of notebooks. And I was in heaven and I felt like the boss. I thought, you know what? I am, I have got it made now. I have all of this information at my fingertips and I could pretty much find out anything I wanted to know about any plant at this point. <laughs> Anyways, I was thinking about them and I don't know what happened to them. I'm guessing they are probably still at my dad's house somewhere. Wow, I'm sorry you guys. This is really, this camera stand is being really cantankerous. All right. Um, but anyways, seeing these pages again just made me have a flood of warm, fuzzy memories and um, devouring old um, Cactus Society uh, bulletins from years ago. Anyways, but this is what you can expect to find if you join the um, British. This is for the British Cacula Cactus and Succulent Society. They send you a little membership card. And this is just a little, a little bit about what they do and the society. And then, of course, a little bit about advice and conservation. Um, a lot of people get notebooks, and I don't know if they sell them. I assume they still do. And you just slide these in the little slip covers, and then they're all organized and nice, and you can put um, everything in there. Um, it seems to be uh, very similar to the um, Messim Study Group Bulletin. It's just in a bit of a different format, and it's glossy pages. But they... they at first, they send you this little pack of just various information. And so this is on cacti, other succulents, and their nice, beautiful color propagation. And obviously, there's not a lot about it, but there is a bit. Pests and diseases. And this is an open up one, as you can see. A lot of the really common um, pests. Containers, composts, and repotting. And this just goes into a little bit of different, yep, pumice. This is John Ines, which is um, uh, an English mix that they get over there that we can't get here, which I'm super jealous of. I hear about it all the time, and I'm like, ah, oh, I want to I wanna try it. Um, and grit and various things, composts, repotting, etc. 
seeds and raising seeds. And this is another um, open one, as you can see. The growing year. So this goes into a little bit about dormancy and um, when things generally, when certain plants type start growing and when they don't. This one is mostly geared towards summer growers, I'm seeing though. Oh, this is only one side. This is only geared towards summer growers. Mm, yep, but that's okay. Um, where can I grow them? A little bit about how much light they need, etc., etc. Growing mess seams in particular. A little bit about those. Some details about conophytums and pests that they, um, kind of items, I just said. <laughs> I catch myself saying lithop every once in a while in a singular form too. I'm like, well, this little lithop, and I don't, it's, singular is the same as plural. It's lithops, whether it's one or 800. But every once in a while, I catch myself saying that too. And it's kind of item, not kind of items. But anyways, um, Horthia, a little bit about Horthia. A little bit about... I've actually never heard this word pronounced. This, these are um, the. This is the group of uh, that Orbea, um, Hernia, and others fall into. Um, I'm I'm totally blanking out on. Give me just a second here. Oh come on, uh, Stapelia and those types. Um, they. They, um, they are all in this family here. Ashlipides. I've actually never heard that one um, said out loud. Um, a little bit about epiphytes and forest cacti. And then just some more information sources. So there's very specific groups like the Mammillaria Society. There's also a Haworthia Society um, in, here in the States. And um, over there as well, I believe, a little Messim study group um, form if you'd like to join that. So I'm not exactly sure what they send out um, quarterly. I believe this is just their welcome pack that they sent out. And that seemed to be the case from the old books that I had <laughs> that were full of this stuff. It seemed like there was a welcome pack and then, um, then they send various things on a quarterly basis that you just add to your collection and they may be random um, um, not well random yeah kind of specific that's what I'm looking for more specific things like Haworthia or whatever or they could be more general um, things about you know pests or propagation or whatever but um, for a beginner this pack of information is actually pretty awesome like I am actually impressed I, um, for me, I, uh, there's not a lot of new information here, but that I didn't expect for there to be. So that's totally, totally fine. But I'm actually, yeah, for someone new, I guess I was expecting this to be for more experienced collectors again. And, um, and so I wasn't sure how practical and detailed things would be, but I, I am pleased. And this is something that beginners uh, might really enjoy and, um, might really benefit from the um just the really good pictures and the general information on some of the the topics that tend to come up the most um with new growers so um for the price which i'm blanking out on the price per year i want to say it was 20 pounds or something but i could be wrong and i forget what that translated into um, in US, but um, I would recommend it. It's, it's um, for, for new people, I think it could really, really be beneficial. I will wait and see what the American Cactus um, Society little packet looks like um, when I get that. Actually, maybe I already got it. I will have to look. It, it might have come in the mail and I might not have opened it. Um, but and see see if it's very similar um, because I believe the the information that I had way way back when in those notebooks I got at the yard sale was from the British um, Cactus and Succulent Society not um, the American but I'm not 100% sure 
but I will show you um, what I get from them as well. I'm not sure if I will stay subscribed or members of these, um, these, these, um, wow, um, societies, but I definitely wanted to check them out and at least be able to show you guys um, an idea of what to expect in case you wanted to join. And yeah, just be able to know for my own um, recommendations if it was something I wanted to suggest um, to people or not. And so far I'm happy. I'm not sure, like I said, if it's something I will want to personally stay a member of myself, but we shall see. Um, there's obviously more, uh, much more to explore. So um, I will leave you guys with that for now. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And happy growing. Alrighty, I spoke too soon. I knew there was something missing, and I found the little the little pouch um, with the rest of the the stuff in it. And so your um, your initial pack will come with this too, which this is just a little. Oops, sorry for the glare. Keith's cactus books. Keith's cactus books. There we go. Not tongue tied. Just a little advertisement. And then this is just members branches etc. So just a little bit about the British Cactus and Succulent Society. Then this is a sticker that says British and Cactus or British Cactus and Succulent Society and the website like a bumper sticker or um, I'm blanking on what you call these. They're Klingon kind of I think. Okay um, and then yes this is this is the main thing that most of this is kind of not not very interesting or important. This is just a little bit of detail about how it's set up and the officers and different things. Um, but this is their seed dis seed um, catalog, basically, and um, a little bit about their prices and how to order, etc. And then they just list out all of these plants. Look at all of that. And so getting places, I mentioned it on the MSG, which is the Messim study group on the video I did about them, but I will mention it here as well. Getting your seeds for these type of Messimes um, and even any other succulent varieties where you're really, you really want to be specific on the exact um, variety that it is, ordering them from a place like this is a really good idea um, as opposed to eBay, et cetera, et cetera, um, because it is, um, there are a lot of scammers out there, I'll just put it that way, a lot of scammers out there that are um, just bagging up really cheap lettuce or carrot seeds or whatever and um, selling them as these um, unique varieties and um, you don't know until weeks or months later when you go, okay, that really doesn't look like whatever I, I planted. And by then, most people don't remember where they got which one from. And so these people really, really get away with it. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. And um, ordering seeds from one of the societies or groups, etc., is a great, great idea. Because you can get some really unique, really specific seeds um, at a really good price. And um, these, I believe, all have 30 in them, if I read all the info right before. Um, and I'm looking for a price here. Well, it's really reasonable. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not finding. There's, there's the details about the, the shipping, etc., etc., and it's really, really reasonable. And so... Um, yeah, keep that in mind. Alrighty, now I will actually officially be done. That is it for the British Cactus and Succulent Society little initial packet review. And I have some very lazy kitties. Let's see. Do you see? Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy kitties here. So I will let you guys go. I will talk to you soon and happy growing.